The most unique feature of the trombone is the slide. Frankly, that was what drew me to the trombone in the first place. When you first receive your trombone and you move your slide up and down, you notice that there's no indicator on the slide to tell you where to stop for the position or for the notes. A player has to be trained and practice how and where to stop for notes on the slide. In general, when you move your slide down, you're lengthening your trombone. Thus, the notes get lower. While you extending your length of the trombone, the notes get lower. As you pull back your slide, the trombone gets shorter and notes get higher. As you can see that, when I move my slide down, my notes goes down. And as I move my slide up, the notes get higher. On the trombone slide, there are seven major positions the student should get very familiar with. So the first position on the trombone is when your slide is completely in. That's the first position. The second position is right here. If you need, pause the video and take a closer look at where those positions are. There's a second position, a third position. Notice when we when our slide in this third position, the hand bar of the slide is beside the bell, the edge of the bell. The fourth position. Right here. The fifth position, the sixth position, the last position, the seventh position. There's no more after that because the trombone slide falls out. We have reached the end of it. Okay, the seventh position, six. Five, four, three, two, one. I'm going to play a note on each of this position. Okay, you can hear them. Each time when I move one position lower, my notes get lower by half step. So each position are half steps apart. F, E, E flat, D, D flat, C, and B. The accuracy of the slide position is the very the most important element for intonation. If your slide is not accurate, it is not possible to play your music in tune. So I recommend students to spend some time during your practice session to just practice where to put your slide on the correct positions. You can use long tone exercise to achieve this goal. For instance, you can do this one.
and etc. And make sure to use your ear to listen to the intonation of the note and also combine your visual information to look where those slide positions are from this point of view. It's going to be a little bit different by looking at here, but use your visual and your ears. Also, you can, you can use the tuner to aid your practice as well. If your note is too low, adjust it by pulling up if your notes, note is too high, adjust by pu pushing down. We've introduced seven major trombone positions on the slide. Students should know, though, as the studies goes into further stage or in the more advanced level of studies. The micro adjustments on those slide positions should be introduced. These micro adjustments on the slide positions will help the player to achieve perfect intonation. How to move the slide. In the earlier video, we talked about to use two finger, second and third, and the thumb to hold the crossbar of the, of the slide on the bottom corner. And the rest of the uh, two fingers laying naturally below. When we move our slide, we should try to move our arm as straight as possible. Watch, watch the hand of mine. It's the straight line. The energy of the moving arm should be generated from the big arm first, then the forearm, and deliver to the finger. When we extend our slide, we should use the thumb the, gener the energy from here, here, and use thumb to push the slide down. Use the thumb, push, and use those two fingers to pull the slide back up. Push, pull, push, pull, push, pull. Push, pull. Straight line. Watch my big arm, the movement. So one of the pitfalls that I often see from a young player is that they forgot to use the big arm when they move their slide. They only use their forearm, which going this. As you can see that my hand or my finger, as you only move your forearm, look, your hand goes off to the side. When we have our trombone and holding the slide, look. If we move quick, our trauma will be very unstable. So move straight line as possible. Use the thumb to push and those two finger to pull back. And the students should also avoid using the wrist motion when they move their slide. The wrist should be staying at the same angle or almost a straight line to the forearm, as you can see. 
when I move my slide down, the angle of my wrist pretty much is in the same. And there's no wrist motion like this when we move the slide. There's no toss or hook back because this will provide you very poor accuracy for the slide positions. And the wrists are used, motion are used mostly in jazz playing for the slide vibrato, but not generally used for moving from one position to another. So when you move your position, make sure the wrist stays still. Not that. Also, the palm of your hand, your right hand, when you, you're holding your instrument, your slide, should be facing this way to towards your left, slightly down, left down side. The palm of your right hand should not face you, face the player, as it's very unnatural and provide tension. Very importantly to remind that when we, re when we move our slide arm, it should be as relaxed as possible. Using the fingertips to hold the slide just enough to make it secure, but never be so tight and never be jerky. A good exercise that I would recommend students do to learn how to operate their slide, how to move their slide, is to do the chromatic scales. Starting from the first position and going down and back up. You sound like this. Remember the aspects that we, and if key important aspects that we talked about and bring that into this exercise. If your arm is not long enough to reach to the seventh position or sixth position, that's totally fine. Just go to the fifth position then. And students can start even slower with this exercise. Make sure that our slide action is swift and quick moving from one position to another. Avoid the slight uh, movement to be very slow. This won't be very good. Okay. And also avoid the jerkiness very smooth and gentle and quick, precise. Again, there's no rest motion. Just extend your, your forearm, your big arm, forearm, 
and push, pull, push, pull. Again, use your visual information and most importantly your ear to listen to your intonation and watch where the slides are placed. And again, use the tuner to help aid in your practice. So slide technique is a challenge part for learning the trombone playing. It takes time to, to develop. A student, especially a young student, should be patient and spend time. I'm sure if you spend time and doing the right exercise, your slide skill will develop and it will develop fast.